Okay, Angela Sadat here with the uh, Angela Stack Group of Keller Williams Premier Realty in the Twin Cities of Minnesota. And today we are talking in our buyer bulletin about your inspection. Do you absolutely have to attend the inspection? So as times get busier and busier, we see technology was supposed to save us time and now we're busier than ever. Um, a lot of our clients are saying, you know, do we absolutely need to be there for the inspection? Do we have to go for the whole time? Do we maybe show up at the end of the inspection? So historically speaking, a lot of our buyers will choose to go to the entire inspection and they want to follow the inspector along and, and kind of watch what he's doing and try not to get in his way, but just kind of see that whole process. Um, I'd say maybe 25% mm, of our buyers have done that. And and then about 75% of our buyers have chosen to go at the end of the inspection. So the inspector will actually give you a time and they'll let you know, hey, around one o'clock you can show up and I'm gonna go through my report with you, what I'm gonna put in my report. Anything that is a big deal uh, that you might wanna ask questions of the seller on, um, anything that we know is gonna need maintenance in the future, those things are gonna come up at the very end once he's looked over the entire house, he or she uh, looks over the entire house and makes sure that um, they've kind of covered everything. Now, remember, your inspection is a visual inspection. And so that general home inspector is gonna look over the entire home, all the components and things, but they are not a specialist. If there's anything that you're very concerned about having a specialist come in for, we can talk about that and get those specialists in either at the same time or at a different time. Um, so do you absolutely have to be there? The actual answer is, no, you don't actually have to be there. The inspector is going to create a very lengthy report. Sometimes it's uh, 40 to 70 pages of all of his findings. Some of them are just small little little maintenance things that we're gonna not probably ask for. And some of them are bigger deals that he's gonna highlight for you to say, okay, we'll find out about this. So that report is gonna be pretty comprehensive. So do you have to be there? Not necessarily. Is it maybe a good idea because it's a great opportunity to talk with that inspector and just kind of get an idea of what he's found? Yes, absolutely. I always encourage people to go for the end of the inspection and at least chat with him if they're able to. If you're too busy, it's okay. We'll get that report and we'll discuss it or we can call him later. So we'll see you next month.